Have you been wondering how you can successfully create an account on Alibaba with just your smartphone? Or have you been wondering how you can source for quality products on Alibaba with just your smartphone? If yes to these questions, then stay tuned as I walk you through how you can use your smartphone to create a successful account on Alibaba mobile app and as well source for quality products. Well, if today is your first time coming across this tutorial, I'm the person of FOG Mado, a webinar and seminar instructor at Morning Small GH. If you are using an Android phone, navigate to Play Store and search for Alibaba and you see the Alibaba app and you download it. If you are using um, an iPhone, you go to App Store and uh, download it from App Store. Then when you open your uh, Alibaba mobile app, the application, you get to this very interface. So when you get to this interface um, and you want to create an account on Alibaba with just your smartphone, you click on my Alibaba just as you can see or where the arrow is pointing. Then you'll be presented to with this interface. From this interface, you see sign in or register. So you click at that part. You'll be brought to with this um, interface. So when you when you get to this very interface, you see email address or member ID. Enter your password. What it basically means is if you have already created an account on Alibaba, then all you have to do is to input your email address and the password, then you come and click on sign in. However, if you have never created an account with your email address, and today is your first time that you are going to create the account, all that you need to do is to click on register. So this tutorial is going to demonstrate practically how to create an account on Alibaba. However, if you already have the account, then you just go on input your email and uh, password and just sign in. so i click on register it brings me to this interface from this interface you click on this drop down arrow this very one or where you see country or region then you select the country in which you are from being in the united states be in bangladesh be in Nigeria or Ghana, then you just look among the list of countries, then you select your country. So in my case, for instance, I'm in Ghana, so I select Ghana. Then the next thing is, you see where we have first name. You input your first name. So you input your first name. Not mine, please. My official name is Isaac. Then my last name is um, Jimado. I input it there, so you get it. Then you input your email address here. You input your email address and you are good to go. Then the next thing you have to do is come and enter the password. The password has to be a password of 6 to 20 characters. So you have seen the, uh, the description there that is given. Then when you are done, what you have to do is to click on next. Why am I not doing it real? Because I have already created an account on Alibaba. Yes, I already have an account on Alibaba. So when you follow this process, an email, a verification link will be sent to the email address that you have provided. And you can log into your email inbox. After clicking on next, then you can click on the verification link sent by Alibaba. And you are done creating the account. That is it. So in my case, for instance, let me just log into my account so from here i just click on sign in then i get here so i type my uh, my email then i enter my password i've logged in or i've signed in so when you are signed in and you get to my alibaba and you see your name here for my case, for instance, you see Morning Small GH, my business name. So I click on home. Then I am in the home page of Alibaba. 
sometimes too if you want to change the currency whilst i speak to you now you see that the product we are seeing the currency is in the united states the united states dollars or dollar so if maybe i want to change it to my choice of currency being it cities naira um yuan or whatever you click on my alibaba then from this interface you come and click here where the arrow is pointing then from here you see currency so i tap there then i'm on the list of countries i click on i look for ghana then i click ok then i click here you don't click on uh, sign out or no please so you then click on this side so i go back and from here you click on home and when you come to home you see that everything is now in ghana cities or it will be in your choice of currency that you have selected you get it now we know how to create an account on alibaba we know how to change the currency so what we are going to look at is how to source for quality products on alibaba with just a smartphone folks this is fwg madu and your major instructor this video is very practical so i'll play it with you to stay tuned and watch it listen carefully to everything that i'm going to demonstrate to you and as well at the end of the video you also practice it when you get to this interface we are going to source for quality products as i said earlier you'll be presented with um products then you'll be presented with manufacturers you see that product has been underlined with a black meaning currently we are seeing products so what is the difference between products and manufacturers why are we presented with those things in order to uh, to source for quality product from alibaba it it is or it will be prudent enough for us to source for credible and reliable suppliers not products products don't produce sub, uh, sub, uh, manufacturers rather it is manufacturers that produces quality products so when you get to this interface you then click on manufacturers so you click on manufacturers so you see that manufacturers is now underlined with black ink so for example there are various ways by which you can source for either you type the product name here or you do picture search the picture search basically mean you are having the image of your uh, of the product on your smartphone and you want to upload it into the alibaba system for it to be um for you to get it so you can just do that so in my case for instance i'm going to do all i'm going to search for hair oil so this presents or has presented me with suppliers and like a verified uh, verified sub, uh, suppliers that produces hair oil it is hair oil that i'm say, uh, sourcing for i'm just using this as a practical uh, demo well let's proceed so when you come to this very interface you see super september depending on the month that you are watching this video or you are trying to source you see super then the month will come what it basically means is as the time that i'm shooting this video we are in september so they they are running promotion promotion so if you want to know the suppliers that are running promotion on their product meaning they've given discount on their product you can select uh, the super september or super whatever you you may see as at the time you are watching this very tutorial so currently um verified manufacturers has been selected so it means all these supplies that you see here have been verified by alibaba so you see verified by them verified verified and what have you so the next thing is you see high r and d capability it's um it talks it has to do with uh, the environmental like does the, the their company meet the needed requirement 
for it to be called a factory and no what have you so you if you like you can select it also for it to also be activated let me say this here if you want quality results you use your computer system but the smartphone gives you some limitations but these are basic ways by which you can source for reliable and credible suppliers using your smartphone yeah that's the honest rate. and this will also lead you to importing quality products with just your smartphone so when you the next thing is quality assurance the products these manufacturers are producing or you are seeing are they of quality do they have that is self-explanatory so i select that one also so the system will save them will save them then brings me supplies with quality assurance then i come i slide again then it comes with OEM, Original Equipment Manufacturer. It means you want to know the, uh, the, the, the manufacturers that they themselves are producing the very product. So you tap on it. Now it has come. So it, it's okay for now. Or if you want to know the suppliers that are running promotion, they are giving discounts. Super September, I select it and I wait. Wow, okay. So I think I'm okay now. You see, sometimes it's not all, it's not a must for you to use. look at the relevant ones, these are some, depending on what you're also sourcing for. So the next thing here is you can buy from any of these suppliers. However, what you need to do or what the factor that you have to consider here is what I termed as proximity. Proximity in the sense that you have to look, know the province the location of your shipping company that you want to use where are they located in china in my case for instance my shipping company is located in guangzhou so from the list of suppliers here i will look for the suppliers that their company or their warehouse is in guangzhou so that the cost of delivery from the suppliers warehouse to my shipping company's warehouse will be less so let me explain something to you here whenever you are buying or you are on alibaba and you see something like xiamen I, i'm not a chinese so i can pronounce it well <laughs> it means that is the province at which this company is located the next one is you see guangzhou so that is the province this company is located then you get to this very one too uh, Zanzu or whatever that is the province sometimes you might be sourcing and you go and see um the instead of you seeing the 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 location of or the province of the manufacturer you rather see the name the name of the company then after the name of the company you see the province then they put it to bracket what it basically mean is the that manufacturer is or that company is not owned by a chinese person rather it is a foreign company that is operating within that province that doesn't mean that the product they are producing is not of quality no uh -huh. so the emphasis i'm laying here is if your supplier sorry your shipping company is in yiwu is in guandon is in langfan you have to source for um manufacturers that are within your shipping company's warehouse the rationale behind it is to cut down the cost of delivering your package or your items from the supplier's warehouse to the shipping company's warehouse so in order to buy or contact any of these suppliers i'll just choose this very one this very one so i click you can choose to click on the product so you see they have the product then you can choose to click on the name um guanzu biosphere whatever so i tap on it it opens the company's um profile alibaba profile for me then when you get here when you click on chat when you click on chat you are just going to chat them so meaning you haven't selected any products so you just scroll down then you look at the product you look at the products that they have now let me explain something here when you are sourcing also just as i'm doing what you have to consider here is 
review what are those who have already purchased item from this manufacturer or supplier what are they saying so you come here so you can see the um supplier service is five star on time shipment five star product quality five star is basically you are seeing the five star and all what have you because of the quality assurance high r and d capability those things that we have selected so it means all those manufacturers who have not met the selections we've done are off so you can see then you can come and read the reviews also from here and you are just good to go so you see what other people are saying so when you scroll down so where you see selected products these are similar products that the supplier also uh, produces so you can see it so let's assume it's hot a uh, hair oil that i want so maybe i want this very one the moq is so you see minimum order quantity is one piece one piece then um when you are buying when you are buying one they will sell it for you at the cost of um one dollar one dollar sixty six cents and so on and so forth so if i want to contact the supplier I just tap on the product just tap on the product then you see chat now we have chat now send inquiry start order start order is self-explanatory maybe you don't want to do any inquiry you don't want to ask further questions other than what you might have read on their portal but you want to ask different you want to go ahead and start making payment and you're just good to go so that you can start with start order send inquiry you want to ask further questions other than what you have read chat now you can click on chat now and you're just good to go in my case for instance i'm going to select chat now so i click here when you click here what will happen is you see um the product here then you see sent you see sent so you have to click on send so that the product link the product and it link will be sent to um the supplier you get it so that when the supplier is online the supplier will respond to you meaning you are interested in that particular item so this the message after sending the message uh, the product link to the supplier this is what i'm going to tell the supplier hi um morning small gh and i'm interested in your products so you come and click here you come and click here to send your message what you have typed so you see and read then when the supply is online at this very time that i'm shooting this video china is in their uh, midnight and other so the supply is offline that's why you can see the messages that i've sent to be unread so if the supplier respond then you tell the supplier let's assume the supplier has responded so you tell the supplier the quantity that you want to buy then okay then you ask the supplier to do the uh, calculation for you sometimes before the supplier even think of doing the calculation for you they will ask you for your shipping if you have an agent a shipping company or an agent who can ship down your items to ghana for you or your choice of country for you they tell them that okay yes then you go and copy the shipping company you want to use their warehouse address their china warehouse address you go and copy it and send it to the supplier then you send your shipping mark we have what is called shipping mark shipping mark and this is an example of a shipping mark so you have name so i'm using money small as an example then you come your contact you come uh, contact then you just do that then you are just good you input your 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 country your personal phone number then you choose a country then in my case for instance i'm in ghana so i choose ghana then you are just, wherever you are you just put if it is nigeria wherever it is you are just good to go and just input that so the next thing you do is uh, you tell the supplier to uh, type uh, write your um 
contact information on your package and send you a picture of your package then you ask the supplier to do the calculation for you and as well include the cost of delivery to your shipping company's warehouse when the supplier does that then you ask the supplier to send you the trade assurance link so that you can pay when the supplier send you the trade assurance link you just tap on the trade assurance link and you make the payment you input your card details your visa card details and you are just good to go you get it then you ask the supplier to send you the tracking number the tracking number of um, your goods and the supplier will do that so folks this is how we source for quality products on alibaba with just your smartphone if you have any challenge in knowing how you can get a shipping company to ship down your items to ghana check in the description of this video or check among my videos and you see you see um my top five shipping companies i've recommended if you're in nigeria i'll leave some of the shipping companies warehouse address in my in the description you can check in the description of this video as well and uh, you join my telegram group where i train a lot there so folks if you find value in these tutorials to like comment and share with your friends and family to also benefit from this tutorial have a fruitful moment bye